Okay, it's time to catch a crab. So, all in the net. And we got one in it. Now uh, he doesn't want to drop through, so fine. Bring him in like this. See, what we do with this double ring net is we put uh, a bottom fishing uh, bait canister that will protect our bait from the crabs chewing it up and pulling it out so we're going after what is here is a blue pincher crab they're the favorites of the sharks rays and gts that inhabit this water um what we start off with is we use that bait for the crab trap as the bait for rods in the reels so we put those out there he goes okay what we do is we start off with the, sh the, the squid we use it for our baits and by the time we catch our first crab we'll substitute one of these rods and reels with the live crab so eventually within an hour everything is all baited up now at the end of the day because we, I no longer pierce the crab with the hook they're just tied in at the end of the day if there's no um, hits I just cut the, the the dental floss that I used to tie them on and I let them go back in the same area. So I replenish my own bait supply. It's a more humane way of fishing and it works. Okay, let's check our crab net. Got one. All right. go throw you back in the water and it's the right size for what we what we want to use it for by the end of the day if nothing happens everything gets released that's our haul for dates so far Okay, I'm at Chalky Beach. I got me a blue pinch of crab. And you notice, I can handle the crab because the pinchers are in the end. I snipped off the pinchers, so this way the crab stays alive. At the end of the day, if nothing eats this, I'll throw it back and the fish will stay alive. I mean, the crab will stay alive. So instead of putting the bait through the body and having the crab possibly die on us, I put some heavy duty dental floss through the eye of the hook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie it in and as you can see here I'm going to tie it this way, I'm going to tie the other one the other way, uh, let's see try it a little bit better than that. So you want to crisscross the lines like so. All right, and the reason why we're doing this because we want the crab to stay alive. That's what we're trying to do here. That's why they call it live baiting. We're trying to make it so the crab will live to this. Now, if the crab is not eaten by the end of the day, I will release this back into the same area. And what that means is that I'm, I'm replenishing the, the resources here at this area and it'd be great for continual usage. You can always catch crabs here. Okay. okay. Hold on now. Gonna tie a knot. Okay. See, the crab is instinctively trying to pinch me, but he can't pinch me right now. You just have to tie a simple, couple of simple grannies. Look at that. The crab's all tied in. So at the end of the day, if nothing hits that, I'm just going to bring it back in, cut that dental floss, and I'll let the crab go, and he'll still be alive. 
So let me get a pair of kitchen shears. Gonna cut off the excess. Now all this stuff here, I will store it in my utility wagon because you don't want to um, litter the areas you fish in. So I'm, I'm going to save that and end the day, throw it away. So right now, we have a live crab for bait. It's going to walk around on the bottom and stay alive this way. And this is on a live leader live I'm sorry live liner this is a pen pierce 2 life liner which means is that when you flick the switch it it'll go into a live liner okay so what we're gonna do now put that into our spike we're going to put a safety cord around it because we don't want to lose this in case it gets pulled out put some tension on the line that's all you have to do and this switch here is your live liner line flick that on what's going to happen now is if a fish swallows that bait it's going to run and he's not going to feel the tension of the line because I have it's been set between one to three pounds now when you give the fish roughly about 15 seconds to swallow the bait you then you flip the switch back now you have the full power of the reel at your disposal and you can set the hook properly this is not a very popular feature in hawaii i hope it will be one day but a lot of people who go for carp and catfish use this method so we're going to set it back and see what happens okay from our choice of bait here, got another crab. And he knows he's trying to pinch me, but he can't do that because I clipped the very tips of the pinches off, so he can't pinch me. So again, I'm gonna show you my system. This is an improved system on what I've done before. We're going to put the line around the crab like so can you see that putting the line around the crab one way and then from the other side we're going to, let's see now, oh, we're going to try to do it the opposite way, go the opposite way, this way, see those little spiky pegs, that's a good way to hold the line down okay don't have to loop it too much but at least two three times each direction all right now what we're going to do is we're going to tie a couple of just simple grannies this is wax line it's going to cut into itself See this one, three. Okay, we got that crab all tied down now. We're gonna get our scissors. I'm going to cut the line. Uh, this scissors seen some better days. Okay, we got us a live crab here. We're gonna chuck this one out. What I do is I first put squid on my 
lines just so you can possibly catch something. Now that I used the squid for my uh, crab heads, we got the bait. So now we're going to toss this one out. Okay, you got to stand back now. With the wind, it's not going to be easy. Oh, that's a good toss. Boom. Good, good toss. The wind just happened to die, die down just when I made the toss. Okay, put that in my spike. Make the tip taut like that. Put the safety cord on. We're all set. Everything is staggered. We got that line going out to the left, other line going out to the right. See what happens. Looks like something's happening with that rod tip. It's going up and down. Could be something's feeding on the live crab or it could be just a larger crab that's got a hold of it. Something's happening though. A couple times I was blessed with seeing the actual bite moments before it happens. Hopefully this is one of them. The bell went off. I wonder. This is the live liner. This is the one that if something swallows it, it's going to take off. I'm thinking now it could be a large Samoan or soul crab possibly is chewing on the bait. There is something on the end of this line. Hopefully it's a fish and it'll take off. It could be just be sitting there munch, happily munching on the bait. Or like I said, it could be a larger crab wolfing it down. The bell just went off again. There is definitely something there. Well, let's go take the bell off. Okay. Take the safety line off. Better check on this. Okay, flick the switch. Set. Oh. You know, there's nothing there. I wonder. Crab's coming back. Crab is whole. That is strange. There's something there. Let me inspect the crab. Wow! Look at that. Look at the way the, the line over here is crimped. The back is punctured. That means a larger crab. Yep. Crabs do this. Okay. Something was strong enough to puncture the back and also make indentations on the reverse side doing this. That was a larger crab trying to feast in this one and he also crimped the leader. But there's no, to me, there's no discernible damage, just, just some crimps in the, in the leader. So, I, but you know what? I, yeah, I, I guess it'd be safe to use it again. If the leader was compromised in any other way, I would change it, but that's definitely the work of a larger crab there. Try to toss it somewhere else. Not too bad considering the high winds I have to throw against. 50, 50 mile per hour winds today. Okay, set the live liner switch. Now the bait feeder function is on. If I call that correctly, it was uh, most likely a larger crab munching in that one. This bait won't last for much longer because it, it is punctured. 
it's bleeding right now. The fluids are going leasing into the water, which means that it's really prime for something to swim by and grab it. But in, in a half an hour, I'm gonna have to change it out because it won't be live anymore. Okay, see what happens. Takedown hit. Really good hit. Oh, let me go check this line in. Okay, got you in. Oh, trying to get me in there. Hope he's still on. Oi. Yeah, he's on. Oh, he's on. Ooh, that was a takedown hit, baby. Whew. I'm getting kind of bored there for a while. Wonder what it is. That line was in front of that river mouth. It's a very shallow river mouth. Whoa. But I've hit the lures and some big papillos right there. Yep, just now. This thing he hit, it ran across to the other island, had nowhere else to go, and it stopped. It's good. Good that it stopped. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's coming in. Wonder what it is. Getting late too, it's getting kind of cold already. Oh, this is the new Tika. The one I just, whoa, this is new Tika, the one I just got from Sutio over Charlie's Fishing Supply. Oh, that's good, I'm at least breaking it in. This one has, whoa, whoa. This has 30 pound Power Pro Spectra Braid on a Pen Fierce 5000 spinning reel. Oh, this thing's giving me a battle, whatever it is. color take my glove out from my back pocket right up to 
crap am I in this? And I got my pliers. Yep, my pliers are in my pocket already in the boat. It's already getting to evening time. I mean, it's at seven. Not a single thing until now. This is a very late hit. Not that I'm grumbling. Well, 99% chance it's a rig. Nice steady pulls with some powerful sweeps. Hit right at the mouth to the river. That's where I got my last lure from. Love this pole. Ten foot uh, Tika Libra. Mine's going almost straight now. Yep, it's a ray. I see it now. This is bigger than the average eagle nose ray because I can't horse it in. No way on this equipment can horse it in. I can't horse this one in. So I'll just get wait till heat tigers out. Yeah. You, you gotta be, my pole tip, be careful. You gotta step back. No, no, just leave it. I got hooked on the deck too, just gonna get back. No, stingray. Yeah. It's a big one, bro. That's not, yeah. I didn't get any bite. Let's see. Oh, I, I, I don't, ah, got me wet from up here. I'm going to see if I can beach it over here. Oh yeah, he is a good size. No wonder he's giving me such a hard time. He's big. This one is big. Oh, hey, do me a favor. Can you lift this up and put it back in when I pass by? Yeah, I'll, ste I'll step over the line. 
Okay, thank you. He's a big one. He's bigger than I normally. No, no, you gotta cut your hands. This is braid. You gotta cinch up, pull him, pull him up. Oh, I can't pull him up. Ah, it broke. It broke it off. No problem, because I was gonna let it go anyway. Oh, yeah, that thing's heavy. Woo. Hey, what's your name? Johnny. Johnny. Hey, thanks, man. Hey. Yeah, he's gone.